What's going on YouTube? Pistol Pete here. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the KCC Edge Hunting Survival Knife. Um, this one you can pick up on Amazon for about 16 bucks. Uh, so it's another budget one, another budget one. We're going to see how it holds up and how it is. Um, and I'll give you a first look. Uh, I want to hurry up and get this review in because I live in Southern California and I guess there is supposedly some sort of hurricane coming through. So first time in like 80 years or something like that. So we'll see. Supposedly high winds and flooding and all different types of things. So I still want to get this in re review in for you guys though. So thought I would uh, bust it out today before because I think the, the eye of the storm is supposed to be here tomorrow, Sunday. So let's, uh, let's get it going, guys. So Starting with the sheath, they just call it ABS plastic handle, ABS plastic. Um, the sheath is pretty secure. I mean, it is a little bit cheaper, but locks in nice and tight. No freaking rattle at all on the sheath. It is horizontal or vertical carry. Uh, clip, the clip is a little bit cheap. You can tell it's kind of a cheap plastic, but I mean, it works. It works. You know, it's not a, it's not a, a horrible sheath, but I mean, they definitely could have made it out of better material, you know, Kydex, not this plastic, but it does have points for latching. Um, you can take this off, and if you want to take this off and just strap it to a bag or something. So it's not too bad. I'll give them that. It's not too bad for 16 bucks. The handle material, I'm going to say feels cheap. It's just cheap plastic. But I have to say the ergonomics of it feel pretty good in the hand. The knife feels it like squeezes and melts into your hand really, really well. The jimping is really good where it's at. The grinds are, eh, it's okay. Um, this is a Chinese made knife and it is uh, three CR13 stainless steel is the blade material type. Um, it is cool that you can take off the handles if you wanted to and put something else on, make your own, I guess. But um, and you can see it's a, a full tang, but it's a hidden full tang. So this part right here is covered with plastic. Um, the, these, the texturing on here is actually pretty nice. I, it does give you pretty good texture, pretty good, uh, grip when you grab it feels good in the hand like i said it melts into the hand so i'll say the ergonomics on the grip are great it does have this little hook here for you know so your hand doesn't slide up on the on the blade um this one here uh came sharp but it didn't come razor sharp um you know it's not hair popping sharp like some of the other ones like when i did the test for the um the gal um hunting knife that i did uh, but it's it's sharp. Let's, let me just see. We'll see right now. Uh, it's it's taken off some hair. Yeah, not really, not really. I mean, it see it's a little bit, a little bit of hair coming off there, popping off. So it's not razor sharp, but it's sharp, sharp enough. The point is real pointy. It's pointy. Um, again, the grind work on that is not that great. Um, we're gonna test this out. I'm gonna take it out and hard use review on this for you guys. But I would have to say I did bring it out here too. Um, this one here, uh, which is the, the gate, uh, I think it's called uh, Gateway or Galloway. I forget the name of it. Sorry about that, guys. But this one to me, for this one's 12 bucks. So this one's 16, 12 bucks. For me, this one has a better fit and finish, has better materials for sure. It feels better in the hand. And then this, this, you know, you saw the review on this. It held up fine, the tawning and everything else and throwing it. So we'll see how this one holds up, how this hand, where, I'm serious, I wanna see how this handle holds up. I wanna see if this plastic breaks when I throw it or start batoning if anything comes loose. But, um, you know, thickness, oh, it's about the same thickness. Maybe a little bit thinner here. Um, but, you know, all in all, it's not horrible. It's not horrible. Um, again, for under 20 bucks, that's not bad. You know, it's, uh, but just, not, I haven't tested it yet, so I can't really give 100% of my opinion, but just so far, I would take this one just on fit and finish and uh, the grind work and the sharpness. This came out razor blade out of the box. This one obviously just, yeah, it's sharp, but it's not hair popping. So I would definitely take the uh, KCC Edge. Not, I mean, I'm sorry, not the KCC Edge knife. I'll take the the Gow knife here. I call it here, G-O-W, I guess, or G-W. I think it's, uh, I'll, 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 when I go back, before I go outside, I'll, I'll let you guys know again. I think it's, it's either Galloway or Gateway. I keep forgetting the damn name of this one. Uh, but it's another budget one, 12 bucks on, on uh, Amazon as well. Um, and this one has been tested and tried and true so far. You know, and I've kept a good edge, still sharp as hell, sharper than this one. Okay, well, enough talk. Let's take this out and uh, put it to work. All right, let's try a bottle cut and see how, uh, how this slices. Ooh. 
Well, I nicked it, but I got it. So I just did. That cut pretty, pretty clean. Look at that. Yeah, pretty sharp. Pretty sharp. Again, not hair popping sharp, but sharp enough to do the deed. Okay, we'll do some little bit of chopping with it. I know this isn't designed for chopping. It's more like a, a little bit of a bushcraft, uh, more for, you know, skinning and uh, feather sticking and things like that. But uh, I gotta test it. I wanna see if the handles hold up, if they come loose or if the edge uh, chips or rolls or things like that. So I do this little stress on that for doing chopping with it, you know, just for testing. And uh, I forgot to mention, this is a five inch blade length and uh, six inch handle. So it's 11 inches overall. Totally forgot to mention that in the beginning here. So, all right, let's see how it holds up. Yeah, so far I don't feel too bad in the hand. You know, obviously I was smaller, so I got to choke back a little bit and flick a little bit of a flick uh, with the knife, but it's uh, holding up pretty well. I mean, as far as, as far as the handles, it's holding on pretty well. Nothing's coming loose. And then get a few hard hard wax here, and then we'll check the edge. <clears throat> check that edge. Hmm. Anything? No. Still pretty sharp. No folds, no nicks. I don't see anything like that. No, no damage. Let's do uh, four foot drops, check the balance, and then some uh, hard downward throws. See if anything comes loose with a tip, bends or breaks. Wow, that was straight as an arrow. Let's see here. Oh, I think that was me. I let go a little bit too. Flicked with my thumb here. There we go. Yeah, not bad. All right, let's do a hard downward throw. Move, move, move. Get the dogs out of the way here. Uh, yeah, not too bad. I'm not gonna do another one of those because the doggy is right there, but he's he doesn't get in the way. But yeah, look at what in there, pretty deep. Pretty deep. Let's check that edge and that tip. If anything came loose. Okay, uh, no. Nice and straight, no bending. Everything's on there still tight. Okay, Beautiful. let's see how it does with a little bit of batoning here. It's a pretty fairly thick log for this little five inch blade, so see how it does. Making that crack in there, see that guys? Damn, splitting it pretty good, let's see. Ah. Getting thicker towards the bottom here, so I might be having a little bit of a harder time. Ah. No, I made it through. Let's try it again, it looks okay. Let's do another piece. here you know it's not going to be busting through big logs but it's definitely going to do the work for these little ones here man it's not bad let's do one more yeah cracking right through that Not bad, not bad. Got some uh, feather sticking here. Let's see how it carves. The dripping, the jimping on here is a little bit aggressive. I can feel it pushing on my thumb a little bit, but not bad, not bad. Well, it's not the best feather sticker, but I mean, you could do it. You definitely can do it. Definitely can create that kindling if you need it. That's for sure.
Look at that. I would say you can accomplish your goals with this. All right, let's see how sharp that spine is. Unfortunately, I can't find my ferro rod striker. I've been looking everywhere for it. I can't seem to locate it. So I thought I would uh, just show you by carving with the spine and see if I can make some fluff uh, with this piece of wood here. And if, you know, obviously, I think it's sharp, to tell you the truth, if I fill it here. So I'm thinking if you, and you see that stuff flying off right there, it's kind of windy, so it's blowing it away, but yeah, it's scraping it. So, I mean, it definitely will scrape a ferro rod. I have no doubt on that. It feels like a 90 degree spine. It feels pretty sharp. But as you can see here, it's, it's kind of just fluffing off and falling on my shoe here, but it's, it is slightly taking it off. You can see it all over the blade there too. So it's grading it, but uh, so yeah, I have no doubt it'll strike a fell rod. Okay, one of the ultimate tests of a knife strength, throwing it. So let's throw it at the log and see how it does here. Oop, that was a little bit of an, again, overthrow. Um, yeah, a little bit light, too light. Let's throw it again. Let's try to throw a little harder. Put a little more gusto behind it. Ooh. There we go, let's see. And then come loose, Oop. Again, there we go. Damage the plastic right there. Maybe you guys can see that. I'll show you again when I gonna do my final conclusion, but so it sucks about these ABS plastic handles. Yeah, I guess you could sand that down. It's not a big deal, but let's try it again. And I can't find the balance of this one. There we go. Try it again. Yeah, for some reason, I can't find the balance on this. All right, I'm gonna try to throw it by the by the blade now. Do a half spin here. There we go. That's stuck in. You see that? Yeah. All righty. Let's uh, try it one more time. Another half spin. Boom. Not bad, okay. Let's do a little bit of stabbing, a little bit of prying. I'm not gonna do a lot of prying because this is just a stainless uh, 3 CR13, so not too tough. Let's see, any damage? Uh, yeah, the tip did bend slightly. If you guys can see that, it's slightly to the, there's a little bit of a curve there, slightly to the right. So the edge, the edge looks okay, but the tip didn't hold up too well. That's one thing about budgets, they always put too thin of tips on them in my opinion. But, yep. Okay, that concludes my review of this uh, KCC Edge hunting survival knife. Um, so, it's not bad. It's not bad. My thoughts, my final thoughts are it's not bad. It's not horrible. Um, I think I got a little bit spoiled with, and I finally remember the name of the other one. I got a little bit spoiled with this one, Grandway, because it's 12 bucks. Um, it held a way better edge. Um and you know very little damage throwing and this feels more balanced when throwing better thrower the grip feels more securing your hand with that rubber coating and this is 12 bucks compared to 16 bucks um this abs i kind of thought that either gonna break crack or or scratch up real easy and sure enough <clears throat> you can see there when i threw it it missed and hit the ground and i didn't it hit cement or it hit gravel and uh, not even gravel like dirt but there's a few rocks in there so it, it took a little chip i mean you could sand that out really easy no biggie um, well, this is going to be, like I said, it's a budget knife. So it's going to be a beater user knife, so it doesn't really bother me or nothing. But it shows you how cheap this plastic, ABS plastic is. You know, I'd rather have G10 or some other material or even this rubber. This rubber coating wouldn't even show if it hit and broke, you know, really um, give a little more give. But, um, and then, obviously, in the last clip when I was throwing it, I think I said the, the, the tip bent. You know what? I, now that I see it, I don't think it bent. Let me see if I can get in here and get you guys zoomed in on that. 
I don't think it bent. It might be slightly slightly bent, but you know what I noticed? It's the grind, the way they grind it. It was not definitely not even. That's another thing I noticed. So this side, you can see how it's real fine grind all the way up to the tip. Now look at this side. See how they, see if it focuses in there. See how they grinded it a little bit further here. So this side has way more material removed than this side. This side is a slender edge all the way up to the tip. This side is a fat portion here where it grinded down. So when you look at it like this, you're like, oh man, it looks like it's bent. But see, if you see the very tip right there, that's just because they grounded this side way more than they grounded this side. So maybe it didn't bend. I, I want to give it the benefit of the doubt, benefit of the doubt, and say it didn't bend. I think that it just, uh, just the way they ground it, because I, I didn't even tell you the truth, I didn't even look at it really thoroughly before I threw it. But again, take a look. You guys can be the judge. Tell me in the comment section, do you think that's a bend from throwing it and prying that I was doing, or do you think that's just the grind mark? See how that has a fat, really fat grind right here where they did it and this side doesn't? So I'm thinking it's just the grind marks that make it look like it's bent. It's not really a bend. Uh, but... And again, even if it is a bend, it's a minute bend. This thing, I, I batoned with it. It held up to the stuff, so it's not a bad knife. I'm not gonna give this a fail. It's definitely not a fail. The handle is okay. Um, this surprisingly was a little bit uncomfortable. See how they put that jimping there? If they left that smooth, that'd have been a little better because when you're batoning or you're chopping, this kind of rides up against your front of your finger right here and creates friction right in here. So I, I prefer them to be smooth that out and not leave it all like textured like that. That right there, creates some friction. They should have smoothed it and grounded it out a little more here. Um, so that, I didn't like that. And then the point of balance of this was just horrible. There's no, for throwing, it's really, really bad for throwing because a lot of weight in the rear end. All this has a lot of weight. And you'd think it'd be the same for this Galway, but this one here, you could see even when I go like that, I mean, it's, it's pretty, pretty balanced. It's not that bad. This one, I mean, it wants to teeter. It just, it just feels weird. It's, it's awkward. It's, for throwing, it's definitely awkward to throw. Um, I mean, you can get, you, I could eventually get the feel of it and start landing it and, and seeing it, but it's definitely something I just can't pick up and throw. So um, it would take some practice to get good with this one. So I would give this for a budget. Again, talking about price, talking about price, um, eh, seven out of 10, seven and a half out of 10. This one I'd give like a nine out of 10, you know, for again, for price, because 12 bucks. And then this one held up a little better. So this isn't horrible, guys. I would say it isn't horrible. They both have their crappy sheets. This one, this one's gonna be like that, you know, obviously that nylon style sheet. This is a plastic, just straight plastic sheet. Um, I prefer the handle of this one than over this one. Blade material, this is just called out stainless. This is C, uh, 3CR13, both cheaper stills. But again, I, I batoned, I did everything with it and nothing broke off, nothing bent and the scales, shit. <laughs> Careful, the scales are tight, they're on there. Um, just make sure I don't stab myself in the chest. Good thing this thing is kind of dull. <laughs> um, yeah, and it's still the same sharpness. It's still the same sharpness as before I took it out. So it didn't get too much duller than what it was. Um, it definitely wasn't uh, razor sharp, but it, it was sharp. Um, yeah, that's it, guys. For this one, please like, subscribe, and share. And until next knife, gun, or whatever.